Hey, Transformer guys. This could burn a couple, and we are coming back doing a custom Siege War for Cybertron uh, Deluxe Pro. And first off, oh, I'm glad to be making a video again. Let's see. Um, I've been keeping up on everybody's stuff, so let's just get started. And we're going to take a look at this pro. So, yeah, but if you look at it, I did the uh, paints. I actually painted this, this metal's silver. Gave him some little touch ups right here under this. Right up under there, if you can see it. He got some on his, his hips and his waist. And I did the paint on his legs. And I actually sprayed the paint. I mean, not the paint, but the, uh, I had some matte finish spray. And I put it on his legs. And on this gun. Actually, this just would be the gun for for a smoke screen. I came and gave him a little detail to it with a little black wash on it. Yeah, so but I really do like it. And that's not the only thing I did some paint on the top of his neck. Painted that whole area silver. Um, did his lights. And it goes silver too. And come around to his sides. Now he has black wheels. I painted and sprayed. And I was actually fun doing that. But the thing is, I really did this custom a uh, super while ago. And Hold on. Keep me standing there. Here he is with the jazz I did a couple of years ago. I actually redid his legs too. I actually did redid jazz legs. And he don't look bad. Still holding up. And nothing will be hindered from like being able to transform. He can still transform and everything without the paint coming off. So that was a plus for me. And I'm gonna take a look at his back, which I did nothing to it. But just awesome like I like my siege figures and I did paint the crotch piece red that was red but I do like it and now I want to go into his transform mode this is a quick video too so be right back. All right, so now that I got him transformed, he does look awesome. Like I did his wheels, just still rolls well. And like I said, nothing was hindered from the transformation. So you could see, like there will be no scrapes, nothing. Cause I did put a couple of coats on. And I did it just well enough to, you know, not have it all bunched on or, you know, uh, just ain't want it all chunky and blotchy. And um, I like it. I mean, I like the gun on top. And we we'll still take it off. And like I said, it rolls very well. It rolls. Okay. 
can. I didn't do nothing for the backlights because I think I should just leave that alone. I like it the way it is. But it's really nice. Super cool. I wish I had somewhere to put these guns. But I do have other custom things I am working on. Um, matter of fact, I could maybe throw it in this Grumlock that I'm doing. Which, I don't know if you can see too much, but I did a lot to him. He got gold, he's got red, and he's just, that's a whole nother video though. I painted his knuckles. It's a lot of stuff down the old Grumlock right here. And I'm not finished with it yet, but I will be. And when I'm done, I will do a review on that too. On well, actually all of the Dinobots that I'm doing. Uh, I do have other videos coming up, hopefully. And just combine a couple of things. Subscribe, like my video. Uh, follow me on Instagram at Combine a Couple. Which is the same thing as my YouTube. And I will make another video. I'm glad to do a video. And I will see you guys next video. So long, YouTube.